there's some fear there that's useful. But generally speaking, I think we have at least 50 years before machines can be like humans, which is when we should really be afraid of them. In the meantime, it's mostly about practical things like societal, cultural changes and work. You know, for the next 20 years, it's really about how machines are changing our culture and what we should not let them do. Right? So right now, companies are asking, what can we automate? But I think the real question is, what, what should we not automate <laughs> you know, to retain what we are? And that is really a much bigger question. Yes, I think we need, we need to have a moratorium on the development of technology as a weapon, like we have for nuclear. So artificial intelligence, uh, genome editing, and geoengineering. But only for the level of where we say this can clearly be used as a weapon. Right? So we should not develop weapons that would allow people to program humans as super soldiers. Currently that is a little bit too uncontrolled. At the same time, if we can change, if we can avoid cancer, we have to do that. And if we can get the world to be better because of AI, yes, but only to a certain limit. So I propose the Digital Ethics Council, a global organization that does nothing but have professional thinking about what we should do and what we should not do, and to see if we can agree on the rules, you know, very simple rules, like if we automate, we pay a tax so that we can get people to learn their job right? uh, and that we not use artificial intelligence as a weapon right? and we don't allow machines to be controlled by themselves like killing right? just really obvious things you know I think we could agree on but usually humans respond to bad things you know? okay. uh, we don't change voluntarily and with climate change now, we're going to eat shit in the next 20 years, right? So, basically we had to wait for bad things to happen. Uh, in artificial intelligence, we may see a major accident. Like a hundred million genomes uh, used to create a superhuman. Uh, that will cause a huge amount of problems and death, and then we move. That could be the case, I hope not. but. We may see a, a, a sort of a small war around geoengineering. Yeah, I think it's important for our kids to learn that technology is not the savior of the world, you know, it's a tool. But the skills that machines will not have for a long time are the skills that we all have already born. And we have to develop those, you know, passion, understanding, foresight, intuition, imagination. And so it's much better for us to, to be more human so that we can focus on that rather than to compete with the machines. Right? So the less you are like a machine, the better for your future. Uh, and just until recently, it was, you know, you were a good machine, a good worker, you know, a, 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 a good soldier, you know, by just doing what, what the job was, you know. But the future is not doing the job. Right? It's doing a new job. It's inventing your job. And that's what we have to teach our kids. Right? Uh, and I think for that it's unlikely that we can learn that in the school. You know? So the schools have to be much more real life. I would much rather have my kids go to India for three months, you know, and learn how to deal with, than maybe get an MBA. You know? But the best of course is that they can get both, but <laughs> you know, for now.